before I started doing these Lent reflections, I'd never heard of the artist Margaret Neve, but this is by her. It's called By Moonlight, painted in 1994. And see how soft it is, not just the colours, but the way it's painted, the girl in her dance. The very moonlit air itself wraps her and the whole picture in an almost tangible embrace. We're reflecting on joy this week. And Sister Wendy Beckett writes, joy is felt profoundly as right, as what ought to be. In grief, part of the pain comes from our feeling that we should not suffer so that it is fundamentally alien to our being. This, even though we all suffer, and frequently. Yet we reject suffering as a basic human truth, while greeting joy as an integral part of our very substance. So in human terms, it makes no sense to find joy in suffering. Yet, in what happens to us and our world, in the changes and chances of this fleeting life, there is the constant of God's spirit within and between us, wrapping us with the soft affection of heaven. Leonard Cohen said that despite the sadness in his long life, joy kept breaking through. The girl in the painting leans back on the invisible, soft air, which supports her. She is not concerned, but is lost in its embrace. And she also embraces it. despite the three sources of light behind her. She is suffused with light herself. And for me, that light comes from within. <laughs>